All right, now I'm going to go to the first circle. I'm going to draw going, moving to the right now. So I'm going to be moving to the right. I'm going to go to the bottom of the circle, move to the right, to the first line. Then I'm going to keep going and stop at the second. So from the bottom of the circle to the end of that line, but then stop at the second line. So I'm going to go from here to here. Now, you don't draw those dots. I'm just showing you where I'm going. To here. From the bottom of the circle to the bottom of that line, and then straight and stop before you hit the next line. Notice I'm going from the bottom of the circle, moving to the right, stopping at the second line, but making sure I touch the first one. Bottom of the circle, just touch the first one and stop at the second one. Bottom of the circle... So bottom of the circle, just touch the first one, keep going, and stop at the second one. Bottom of the circle, just touch, stop. Bottom of the circle, just touch, and stop. Bottom of the circle, just touch, and stop. Bottom of the circle, just touch, and stop. Okay, so I kind of like made a little boo-boo there. See how that kind of sticks out? It's a little sloppy, so maybe I'll just make the line a little heavier and try to hide the mistake. There we go. So, from the bottom of the circle, oh, I guess I'm done on that end. Now the next step is to fill in these rectangles. So watch how I fill this in. Horizontal lines, slowly moving back and forth, breathing through what I'm doing, keeping the lines tight and close to each other. Just back and forth. Notice I'm not doing the circles. I'm doing the square in between the circles. So do you see a square in between these circles? I do. It's right there. So how do I fill it in? I move my pencil slowly, letting the ink just touch the paper. I do not have to push hard. Just back and forth. Moving it faster actually makes it work worse because it doesn't you don't give the marker time to get the ink down so just move it slower so let's find the next square there are my circles where's the square well it's right there there should be a square so fill it in the square in between the circles right there fill it in okay i'm going to finish filling in my squares they are square there's a square there. Well, oh, that's a circle, but guess what? We'll deal with that later. So I'm going to do this square, this square, this square. going to fill in these squares. But I'm going to hit pause. Okay, so now each circle should get a nice little dot as a decorative element. That's easy, right? After all that thinking, now we can have an easy thing to do. Okay, now we need to shade. So get your pencils ready. All right, so wherever the chain goes underneath itself, by the circle, should be shaded. Because it goes under there. It goes under here. And it goes under here. Tucked under it is. Tucked under it is. Tucked under, tucked under. So it should be heavy by the line. All right, so now everywhere it is shaded that it goes under itself, near the circle. Now, one last little thing. Um, you can add a real skinny edge to this. And I would do, if you have a curve, I would do the inside of the curve. All right, so if it's curved this way, I would do the inside of the curve. This would be the outside of a curve. So let's do a skinny, skinny edge on the outside of the curve. Make it three-dimensional. And then, just like a quarter, I want a ridged edge. So make these lines close together. So it's like a ridged edge. I'm going to finish this on pause and so now I have 
like a grooved edge, like the edge of a dime. So it gives us just a little bit more dimension. And then a little shading along the edge where the chain goes underneath itself. Right, oop, right along here in the bottom where it goes underneath itself. We put shading. To give it dimension. So it looks three-dimensional and not just flat. Because that's the key for all of these textures and the Zen tangles. And then where it goes underneath itself at the top. So I'm on the right side of the top. It was on the left side of the bottom. Right side along the top. And then, boom, bicycle chain.